good morning guys in today's video i'm gonna be showing you what i eat this week all of my food so if you like this kind of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll start with breakfast so this is monday and sun. Let me look for for Madame Bilimbili and see if I'm making us your oats granola to your gut. And swear, so you need to introduce for Afro pop. We like this also. So we took one guy in a fat two minutes after. I put up a download there, bro. So what is this, David? This is a starter, fish starter. Fish starter? Mm, what do you mean? A mix of fish rivers, fish eggs. Mm hmm yeah, fish eggs and livers. It's a start of fish, guys. This one very nice. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up in the morning, when it's a Friday, you have a hangover. When you get this, my friend, yeah, you start your day good, man. And here we have fish fillets. That's tuna. Yeah. Yeah, to marination there. Yeah. Ah, so I'm gonna be testing the fish. So guys, I'm gonna taste this butter. Let me say it's nice. It makes you hot. I don't know which hot is trying to me. Mm. And this is tuna, but then this comes from the tuna family fish. This is how it looks. This is my first time tasting eggs. I'm looking at the tuna So, what is your person? I'm going to get my chip out of the morning. I'm going to get my chip out of the morning. Sit down later. Cut on, Mama. For people who love fish, it's nice. Where you open it? The soup is good. Where the eggs open? I need to get mm. used to mm. it. Yeah, guys. Mm. 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 
Guys, David D's channel, this video is his, his recording. <laughs> Check out David's video on how he cooked this delicious pasta. David D shout out. Yeah, yeah, buddy, make sure to check out this video guys on my YouTube channel. It's a boy Dev D. Yeah guys, so this is awesome. It's really really delicious thing. Dinner today. Good morning guys. How are you all doing? Today is a beautiful Saturday. We are in Lamu Old Town, guys. And we're gonna have Swahili breakfast, guys. You know, when you visit a place, you need to eat the way they eat, enjoy what they eat. And my favorite, favorite Swahili dish, Swahili breakfast is viazi, viazi curry. This is basically potatoes coated with uh, with flour. You can cut them with garam flour. Some cut them with. Uh, all purpose flour, but I like it when it's coated with garam flour. So they look like this the potatoes. Yeah. And I can't eat Biazikarai without a kwaju. That's the way you eat it. The kwaju is tamarind sauce. This is the tamarind sauce, guys. So I hope you enjoy this kind of videos. Like, support the channel on PayPal. You know how we do i like this video thank you for those who keep on supporting me by the way i am blessed so this is some ukwadu so it looks like this after this tamari sauce with chilies but the main ingredient is the tamari nice and then this other thing is mahamri they're basically i can say if you're not swahili or you're not from kenya or you're not from east africa they are called they are they're called mahamri which how can i uh, define them they are like coconut donuts because they have coconut cardamom and all those good stuff so looks it's my favorite one the one that is not here you should they usually eat mahamri with with mbaazi coconut mbaazi nazi wa mbaazi mbaazi wa nazi mbaazi wa nazi so <laughs> they are basically pigeon peas i think it, is it pigeon peas or is it the pigeon peas no you, you, yeah pigeon peas pigeon peas with coconut and then this you dip them there but i don't know maybe they are not there you are not they are not there so not good so today is a totally mukbang the people watch my weight please I don't know if you don't know, but I stopped watching my weight, so you shouldn't bother also. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. And then this is uh, tea. Tea is, you know, you all know tea. I hope you enjoy this mukbang. If you don't like watching people eating, this is your time to click out the video. So what you do with the piazza rai? 
to dip it in your marinade sauce this is the best guys if you're ever in any Italian coastal always take this mm. Some more. Yeah. It's so good guys the description on the outside and the inside is just well good this is a uh, samosa you see this samosa is a, I don't know how to say it it's vegetarian samosas yeah mm -hmm. also has a feeling of real okay guys I'm gonna finish this this uh, breakfast and you can see if I'm not eating alone I'm eating with David B the cut of the day people of Lama you enjoy Lama this way okay all the cut of the day red snapper then it's gonna fill up the room and it's gonna be on this YouTube channel you know it's the cook cook David chef David huh? so guys today I'm gonna cook mchicha it's a traditional vegetable here in the Kenya and it's widely known in the east. I'm going to cook a traditional vegetable curry. I'll show you how to. So first you have to remove the leaves from the stems. You cut from here. Cut, you do as I say, like that. So I'll do this for the remaining and then we'll wash them when they are like this. We'll come back shortly after I've done. So now I've finished removing the leaves and now I'm washing them, just rinsing them thoroughly until they're clean. We're gonna boil them with the water. So that's what I'm doing right now. Little water. Put your Chicha here. Let me know what you call them in your language. If you've ever eaten them, let me know in the comment section below. And then we're going to boil them for we're going to boil them for three minutes on medium to low uh, heat. I'm gonna wait it for three minutes and then we're going to come back hit that subscribe button to cover them so that they steam well so after three minutes you can see after three minutes the vegetable is ready so what i'm gonna do is gonna i'm gonna prepare. so your vegetable is already cooked now as you can see so we're gonna drain the water to the sink we got So now I'm gonna trans I'm gonna transfer the vegetables here because I want to use the same pan because I don't like washing so many dishes. I'm gonna use a one medium red onion. Cut it into small pieces. gonna add oil any oil you use I use vegetable oil wait for the oil to to get when the oil has heated you put your vegetables on medium high medium high heat then what I like is I like sauteing my onions with salt so I'm just going to use a pinch of half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna cook your onions for two to three minutes until they are translucent. I'm gonna come back shortly when they are. I'm gonna cook it for until they are translucent, not burnt, but translucent.
Then I come back after two minutes. <clears throat> so now after two to three minutes, the onions are translucent. I'm gonna drop in my vegetables. And stop. So I'm gonna put coconut cream. This is six um, 65 ml. You can put a lot or a little, but me, I want this size is good for the size of of of, of vegetables. So you just stop, and then you just put the cream. Sixty-five ml of cream, coconut cream. You can use from any brand. I'm in Lamu right now, so this is the best brand right here. It's locally made. And right now, you just put your heat on low. Just stir. And you close it for it to heat up for less than 30 seconds so that is your vegetable curry ready and you can eat it with complete them like this some small balls Guys, I'll start with breakfast. So, guys, we're gonna start the morning. This is Swahili tea. This is tea. We're having tea. This is Mahamri. Let me show you. This is Mbazi pigeon peas with coconut, uh, papai, papai drinks. Of course, I have to start every day with water. So as I told you, this is mahamri. So what you do is you dip your mahamri, you open it on your pigeon piece baazi. Goodness. And then this, this is bajia. Look. This is metal. It's like coconut and then custard sugar all the time. And for lunch, we're having the snapper. Baby, this is the chef, guys. <laughs> the famous chef is preparing to go live. Yo, what's up people? It's the boy my deep. Welcome to my YouTube channel guys. Today I have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. This is why uh, it's a red snapper guys. Uh, two of them here, yeah, as you can see. So I want to show you. So guys, supper time. Dinner time? Yes, yeah, supper, dinner. Uh, I've just been doing videos because that's my work. That's why I have makeup on. So I'm having what's it called? This is the most delicious 
you've seen how it was made for a detailed review of how it was made go to david d's channel so shout yourself out david d's channel mm. yeah so <laughs> what's the subject delicious delicious fish delicious snapper. yeah it's red snapper guys 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 now i'm tasting it <gasps> with veggies it's a coconut curry by the way wow just go and watch the video mm. Mm. wow 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 that was your thumb chilies i love chilies i can eat all the chilies in the world i love of course lemon oh so this is what i eat in a week what i ate in a week i think the teacher was gonna say that what i ate in a week today is monday actually so this is what i ate in a week well on while in Lamu, in vacation. Now, what I mean, you pull a tuna in me. Chan, you pull an corner. This is how Kenyans we eat. This way. In short, it's fish curry. That's what I told Zaki to eat. I told Zaki. See you later. See you tomorrow when I eat. Break. See you tomorrow when I eat breakfast. For now, let me enjoy this. This is snapper. It's called snapper. From fish of the day, catch of the day. From farm to fine dining. Today morning, we are making pancakes. Who's making them? Me. Guys, supper is here. You call it supper. Guys, supper is ready. This is tilapia in a different way. Sauces. Let me cut it between and rice, of course. And then I have the tamarind sauce I was eating with Fiasca rice. I'm gonna dip my fish here, guys. Yes, I just love sauces. They are at Sapa. Cooked by David. David, thank you. And Nikona. Juice. Let me just go in, babe. So, so here it is. I love lemon ta and tamarind sauces. So, no fish yango and just dip in my tamarind sauce and yam. So today, no. So today we are having veggie uh, eggplants. Uh, it's my first time eating eggplants, so I'm a bit skeptical. Rice, and so I have uh, pigeon peas, coconut pigeon peas here. Because I don't know if I'm 
Okay, let me test and then I'll tell you guys. So it's dinner actually. So it's my first time testing this thing. No, yeah. it's good. It's actually nice. My time. I can eat it. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. Today's breakfast was just Swahili breakfast, so that's what I eat. Um, um.